Okay, this is NetLogo tutorial number five. I'm going to try to show a few things about uh, turtles by dissecting an existing program. So this is a model called Potatoes and the idea is uh, have a garden and we have a cellar and in the garden we plant potatoes and in the cellar we store bags of potatoes and uh, this has to do with the Irish potato famine it's just a animated or simulated v version of the of the story from 1852 I think it was when we harvest the potatoes, then the garden is uh, denuded of plants. And when we replant it, then we put in some more potato plants. Okay. We set up everything. And then we can step. With each uh, step, it uh, corresponds to a month of time. So you're down here it lists the months by name and <coughs> with each step we eat a bag of potatoes and of course the ambient temperature and humidity changes now the, the turtle in this blue patch is actually plotting the temperature uh, horizontally uh, which is also shown in this plot and uh, the sorry the temperature is vertical and the humidity is horizontal so normally the turtle in the course of a year goes around a, a loop and misses this red area in the corner when the turtle goes in the red corner it indicates the conditions in which the potatoes are subject to blight and famine can occur uh, anyway, we just want to <coughs> have a look at the code here and dissect this program. So, first of all, turtles can belong to a turtle breed if we want them to. So, in this case, I've defined two breeds of turtles, the plant breed and the potato breed. And later on when we use these breeds when I push the plant button it says create plants 10 so <coughs> that means the turtles but uh, turtles of the breed plant and I give them the shape of flower <coughs> the size of one the heading of zero and the color of green the shape size heading and color are attributes that all turtles have <coughs> uh, and then in planting there's a command for each and every one of the ten uh, plants and uh, sends them to the appropriate place in the garden <coughs> Now when we store the potatoes, we create 12 turtles, <coughs> one for each month, in uh, the breed potato. And we give them, each and every one, the shape of circle, the size of a half, the heading of zero, and the color of brown. So these uh, potatoes are referred to as uh, numbers 11 through 22, because the potatoes and also plants are all turtles and the turtles have to be numbered consecutively uh, so in this case there are 23 turtles altogether from 0 to 22 okay so that's what I wanted to share with you something about turtles uh, that we can uh, order them around by breeds and uh, one way of distinguishing the breeds is by giving the breeds uh, different uh, shapes. Uh, 
this little yellow turtle here is the one who does the drawing in the temperature humidity plot and that's turtle zero. Uh, then we have the ten plants, those are turtles one through ten and then we have the uh, twelve uh, potato sacks and uh, they have turtle numbers up to twenty-two. So where do these shapes come from? And a good place to look is in the NetLogo user manual over here under Shapes Editor. The Shapes Editor says <coughs> that a certain number of shapes are built in and they're called the default shapes. These are the ones that I've used so far. <coughs> We've seen uh, almost every model uh, an arrow, an airplane, uh, a box, a bug, a car, smiley faces, flowers, and so on. And um, here, here's the turtle I used uh, for drawing in, in the graph. And uh, here's a flower that was a potato, and so on. Now, if you are creating a model and you don't see the shapes that you want here, uh, don't worry, there are more shapes. And they're in the shapes library. So there are all these. These are all usable. And in the user manual under shapes editor gives instructions how to uh, use them. Then there's also a way to make your own shape if you're not satisfied with any of these. And if you're a bit artistic then you'll want to do this. You draw your own shape, you can save it, and you can use it in any models that you please. So that's what I wanted to share with you in this uh, tutorial about turtle breeds and shapes. Thank you.